Alright, what is up everybody? It's me, Shadow Star 2, back in another brand new video. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Logitech K850 uh, Office Keyboard. I know it's kind of weird that I review an Office Keyboard on this channel, but I just thought it'd be helpful for some people who want to buy it. I'll be linking this in the description in case you guys want to buy it um, for whatever. Um, it's a mouse and keyboard bundle. Um, I used when I used to play keyboard and mouse and Fortnite, I used to main this mouse since it has two side buttons that are pretty well, or pretty good, not well. Um, so we're, today in the video, we're gonna be doing a sound test on the keyboard, a glide test of the mouse on this mouse pad. It's right over there. And um, so first, we're just gonna go over the features that the keyboard has. So it has this like channel buttons up here. So like one, two, three, when it's plugged in, um, it is, it uses one of these thingies. I don't know which one it is. I have like three of them over here. Um, but the mouse also has it too. You can like press the button wherever it's lit up on is what channel it's going to register to. So if you have the keyboard at one and the mouse is at two, the keyboard will only work. Um, if you have both of them at one, then both of them will work. Um, so it's a full size keyboard. I think I'm not very good with keyboards since I'm a controller player. Um, but the main keyboard right here, uh, the movement arrows and this stuff, and the numpad is over here. Tell me in the comments if I got that right. It's kind of like my first time doing this. Um, so overall, it's a pretty good keyboard. It also has stands. Um, where you can either have it be really high, or if you don't like it as high, there's a short setting. Um, it's normally on this side, but mine broke. So, yeah. And right here is the battery compartment. Um, I have no nail. It pops off right there. So, um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, and then it also has one of these, like, armrest pads while you're working or doing whatever. And then into the mouse, it does have a uh, pretty good, like, I think these are called mouse gates. I don't remember, um, but it's pretty good. There's an on and off switch and the laser sound right here. And then the battery compartment right there. And it has the USB thing and then the mouse compartment, or the battery compartment. Um, and then it has the channel thing, a nice scroll wheel. You can push down, go up and down. And then the two side buttons, which is pretty cool. Um, it's nice to have the side buttons. So this is a very high quality mouse and keyboard. This is by a name, it's a good quality brand, Logitech. Um, I'm not sponsored. Um, I'm probably gonna say this later in the video again because I have a horrible memory. Um, I'm not sponsored. So I, my dad bought this for me, um, but it's a good keyboard if you need it for like office. I wouldn't fully recommend it for gaming since there's just all this stuff that you wouldn't normally use for gaming. So I'd recommend like a Razer Huntsman Mini. I used to have one of those and it was a really nice keyboard and it came with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it was RGB. But um, this keyboard is a pretty nice office keyboard or if it's just like a starting keyboard, like if you want to just learn Fortnite keyboard and mouse, um, and you're like not sure if you want to go serious with it coming from controller using this keyboard will be like really good Because it's not super expensive and you get a really good mouse um, So yeah um, So if you don't if you do end up still going with keyboard and mouse, but you don't like this keyboard You could definitely upgrade to like the Razer Hunts in the mini or something um, By Razer that was also a really good keyboard that I had a while ago But I got rid of since I really switched to controller again. So uh, yeah Alright, so now we're gonna get into a, the sound test with the keyboard. We're gonna do a sound test with the keyboard right now. No one with the numpad side. All 
Alright, so now we're going to move on to the mouse section. Testing out the mouse on the mouse pad. Just to see how it looks. This is a mouse pad I got from the Outer Banks. And a cool store there. Where did I put the mouse? Alright, I, I found the mouse. Um, so, it's a pretty good size. I don't have the biggest of hands. So, it is a not huge mouse at all so if you have bigger hands this probably isn't the best mouse for you but it does glide pretty nice on the mouse pad um i don't have the highest quality mouse pad because i don't know how high quality this is but it does glide pretty well and the uh, skates on the bottom are seem to be pretty good and they have good tracking i will be linking this keyboard and mouse bundle on amazon um, the amazon link in the description um it's around like fifty dollars, so it's not horrible, and it's a good name brand, Logitech. So yeah, this is heads up. I'm not sponsored by Logitech for this review. I just kind of wanted to review it since I got it a while ago, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to review for people who wanted it. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.